In question number 12 of our catechism, we learned about the first two people, Adam and Eve. From these two people came all people who ever walked on earth. We learned God made the body of Adam out of the dust, and he formed the body of Eve out of the rib of Adam. Now we're going to look at two questions from our catechism today. Let's start with question number 13. What did God give Adam and Eve besides bodies? And the answer? He gave them souls that could never die. The Bible book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, can help us answer this question. It talks about what happens when a person dies. And the dust, that is the body, returns to the earth as it was. And the spirit, or soul, returns to God who gave it. From this we learn that God, when he made Adam and Eve, gave them bodies that would die and return to dust and he gave them souls, or spirits, that could never die. You might have noticed two different words there, soul and spirit. The Bible uses them both to talk about the same thing, like we read in Luke chapter 1. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. So what is a soul or spirit, and how is it different from our bodies? Well first, bodies are made up of stuff, like eyes, and ears, and noses. But spirits and souls aren't made up of stuff. You can't see, or hear, or even smell them. Second, our bodies can grow old and die, or be destroyed in many different ways. However, nothing on earth can ever kill our spirits. That brings us to our second question we'll answer today. Question 14. What is your soul? Let's read the answer. My soul includes all of me that should know and love God, and can never die. First, we can love God with our souls. Jesus told us that the most important commandment of all was this, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. Jesus wants us to love God with all of our souls. Second, your soul is the part of you that can never die. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 says this about what happens when we die. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. This verse tells us that when we die, though our bodies are buried in the ground, we go to be home with God. This is only possible because human beings are bodies and souls. It can be hard to think about souls and spirits, since we can't see them. However, just know that your soul is that inside, invisible part of you that makes you, you. Let's look back at our two questions again. Number 13. What did God give Adam and Eve besides bodies? And the answer? He gave them souls that could never die. And question 14. What is your soul? Again, the answer. My soul includes all of me that should know and love God and can never die. <laughs>